Hey there, my name is Katie Lane. I'm a co-founder here at Thrive Alcohol Recovery, and I'm also a success story of the Sinclair Method. So in this video, I wanted to really answer the question of who is the Sinclair Method for? Uh, really speaking to people who are looking into this method and wondering if it could help them if they want to cut back on or quit drinking alcohol. So there are three parts I'm going to cover in this video. The first part is, is I'm going to do a very brief introduction to what the Sinclair Method is in case you're not familiar with it. Uh, the second part is I'm going to talk about who this treatment is ideal for, and then I'll talk about who this treatment is really not for. So let's jump in. Real quick disclaimer, uh, this video is not medical advice, so if you have more specific questions about naltrexone for treatment of your alcohol addiction, you can definitely chat with your doctor about that. And if you do join Thrive's program, we will refer you to a telemedicine physician who specializes in naltrexone and the Sinclair Method. So first, if you're not familiar with the Sinclair Method, this is a science-based treatment protocol that has been around for almost 30 years, and it was discovered by a physician named Dr. David Sinclair. Uh, what he showed in his research is a couple of things. He showed, first of all, that alcohol use disorder is something that is learned inside of the brain over time, and it can actually be unlearned through the use of a medication therapy, uh, taking the medication naltrexone. This works because naltrexone is an opiate blocker medication, not to be confused with opiate, but an opiate blocker. And how it works inside the brain when you um, follow the Sinclair method is you take the medication an hour or two before your first alcoholic drink of the day. And this medication is going to be blocking this flood of endorphins that our brain gets when we drink. Uh, you can still get drunk. Uh, you can still even enjoy drinking on this on this method. A lot of people do. Uh, but what this medication is doing is it's blocking the massive flood of endorphins that people get when they drink alcohol. And it's those endorphins that really make it so pleasurable and make it addicting in the first place. And so this is a long-term treatment protocol. We typically tell people to give it a year. But what happens over time using the Sinclair method is you're drinking on the medication and little by little, you are gradually reducing the amount that you drink. Over the last 30 years, there have been over 100 clinical trials uh, proving that the Sinclair Method has a 78% success rate when it's followed correctly and when it's given enough time to work. Another thing that's important to know is that the medication naltrexone is actually generic, and so it's very affordable in most parts of the world. Um, if you have a prescription uh, insurance plan, uh, oftentimes you can get it for very cheap, like $10 or less a month. And even without insurance, it will be $30 or less, at least here in the United States. It could vary in different parts of the world, but generally, generally this medication, because it's generic, it's very, very affordable. And naltrexone has actually been FDA approved for treatment of alcohol addiction since 1994, which is around when uh, Dr. Sinclair started doing his research as well. One of the great things about the Sinclair Method Treatment Protocol is that it's up to the individual to decide on their goals. I'd say the vast majority of people go on this treatment protocol with the desire to reduce their drinking and have more control over how much they drink and ideally just be a moderate drinker. And others go on this treatment protocol with a long-term goal of abstinence or sobriety. And either one are perfectly achievable goals through the Sinclair Method. So now I wanted to talk a little bit about who this treatment is ideal for. So it's really ideal for anyone who has a desire to cut back on their alcohol consumption, whether you want to be a moderate drinker or if you have a long-term goal of abstinence. Um, this treatment protocol does require uh, drinking alcohol on it using the medication. And so ideally it's for someone who is still consuming alcohol but would like to cut back on how much they're drinking. Oftentimes people will ask me, is my drinking too bad for this method or is it not bad enough for this method? And from what I've seen, it can really work well for people who have mild, moderate, or severe alcohol use disorder. One thing that's really important to remember that we remind people of over and over again is that naltrexone in the Sinclair method is a 50% of it. It's a crucial 50% to overcoming alcohol use disorder. But the other 50% is really how you're engaging the process with changing lifestyle and habit change and developing new coping tools. Uh, but if someone is really engaged in this process and committed to making this change, they can really see massive changes in their relationship with alcohol uh, within a course of, of one 
one year. This treatment is also ideal for people who want a discreet option to addressing problem drinking. Um, I know for me, my problems with alcohol were something I really kept secret and not many people knew about. And so when I started on this treatment, I didn't want to have to tell anybody that I was doing it. And that's honestly one of the great things about the Sinclair Method and with our program as well is that everything can be done super discreetly and it's absolutely up to you who you decide to tell and if you tell anyone about it. This treatment can also work really well for both daily drinkers, so if you're someone who's drinking almost every day or you are drinking every day, um, or if you're someone who's more of a binge style drinker, if you're drinking once a week or a couple times a week or once a month. Um, I've seen the treatment work well in both instances. And again, it goes back to you know the medication being 50% of it and then um, how you're engaging the treatment protocol with lifestyle changes are the other 50%. One other thing I wanted to say that's really great about the medication naltrexone is that it's generally considered very safe for most people to take. It's non-addictive and it has very few interactions with other medications. So sometimes people will ask if they're on an antidepressant or anti-anxiety or another medication. Um, they'll be concerned that naltrexone will, will interact with it. But um, naltrexone really only interacts with opiate pain medication, which I'll talk more about. Um, so if you are on opiate medication for chronic pain, naltrexone would not be ideal for you. And that actually leads me into my next uh, topic I wanted to talk about is who is this treatment protocol not ideal for. So like I said, if you're on opiate pain medication for chronic pain, uh, you cannot take the medication naltrexone because naltrexone is an opiate blocker. And so it can send you into withdrawal or block the effects of the opiate pain medication. Uh, this treatment is also not for people who are happily alcohol-free or happily in recovery. Uh, if you're sober, we would never want to encourage someone to start drinking again just to use the Sinclair Method protocol, especially if your recovery journey is going well. Um, so if you are working on your recovery and you're in sobriety, the Sinclair Method may not be a good option for you. Now, Trexone and the Sinclair Method is also not for somebody who wants to quit drinking right now. Um, if that's something that's a long-term goal in six months or a year or more, you'd like to eventually go alcohol-free, this treatment can be a great option for you. Uh, but if you're ready to go sober today and you don't want to drink anymore, this treatment protocol is really not for you because the Sinclair Method works by drinking on the medication naltrexone over time to help rewire the brain so that it can unlearn alcohol use disorder. Uh, there are some studies and um, anecdotal reports I've heard from people who take naltrexone daily uh, with abstinence and it helps with their cravings. So that is something that you may want to chat with your doctor about. Um, I've also heard from people who felt like it didn't really make any difference. And in Dr. Sinclair's research, he did compare daily naltrexone uh, with the Sinclair method and he didn't show that it was nearly as effective as the Sinclair method. But like I said, over the years, I've heard anecdotally from people who do take it daily and they do really well with it. So um, it couldn't hurt to, to chat with your doctor about that option if you're someone who wants to stay sober but perhaps try naltrexone to help with um, alcohol cravings. This treatment is also not for people who have liver disease or cirrhosis of the liver. Uh, if you go see a physician for a prescription and there is concern about the health of your liver, uh, they'll do a liver screen test to ensure that you can tolerate the medication because naltrexone is processed through the liver. The good news is most people tolerate the medication just fine. And actually what I've heard a lot of physicians say is that um, as people get going on the medication and the treatment protocol, because they're reducing their alcohol consumption, the health of their liver can actually improve. Um, but if you're already at a place where you have advanced stage liver disease or cirrhosis of the liver, naltrexone would not be a good option for you. And this is something you can definitely chat with your doctor more about. Naltrexone is also not for people who have concerns about whether or not they would commit to taking the medication. Um, being compliant with this protocol is truly the key to success, uh, meaning you're always taking the medication before drinking and you're never skipping a dose. Um, of course, sometimes people make mistakes here and there and they can certainly bounce back from them, but if you're someone who knows that you will not be committed to taking the medication correctly, uh, this treatment protocol may not be ideal for you, at least at this time. 
There are other options for naltrexone. There's a shot form called Vivitrol, and there's also a pellet implant that you can get, um, which will uh, allow you to always have the naltrexone in your system. Uh, if you do this form, that might be a good place for people to start, especially if you're concerned with compliance uh, with the, the medication. But just be aware that this is not exactly the Sinclair method, because the Sinclair method protocol is really taking that targeted dose of naltrexone one to two hours before the first alcoholic drink of the day. All right, so I think that's all for this video. I hope it helped you guys to better understand a bit more about what the Sinclair method is, who it's ideal for, and also who it's not ideal for. Um, if you have more questions about the method, you can contact us. Our email is in the description below. You can also visit our website there as well. And if you're ready to get started on the Sinclair method and you'd like to join Thrive's program, you can visit our website to learn more and get started as well. Thank you so much.